First on this date in 1904 was born Sir John Gailgood, uh, the brilliant Gilgood, I'm sorry, brilliant Shakespearean actor, the only Briton honored by this country with an Emmy, a Grammy, a Tony, and an Oscar. We gave him the Oscar for his work, and he may be best remembered here as the valet and butler Hobson to Dudley Moore's Arthur, particularly the couplet in which Arthur says he's going to take a bath, and Sir John replies, I'll alert the media. Well, let's play oddball. First, a special oddball update about Vince Shlomi, the hyper-fidgety ShamWow pitchman having been arrested in Miami after an altercation with a hooker named Sasha Harris. He reportedly paid $1,000. She reportedly bit his tongue. The smoking gun now providing pictures. Nothing you haven't already seen on CSI ShamWow. Try not to notice the evidence by the pillow because, you know, you can't do this all day. These are the mild ones. Shlomi really missed an opportunity to sell the product there, as you see. It could clean up telltale wall stains. Fettuccine, linguine, mankini, tiny weenie. And in Flushing, Queens last night, the New York Mets opened their new stadium, City Field. Tom Seaver threw a strike for the ceremonial first pitch to ex-catcher Mike Piazza. And if the first night is any indicator, the place is going to be wacky. In the bottom of the third, a stray cat got loose behind home plate, kind of a reprise of an event from 1969. The kitty tried leaping into the stands. The second time it tried leaping into the stands, it hit New York Governor David Patterson right there, where he was sitting. And then in the ninth inning, Padres pitcher Heath Bell lost control and chucked a wild pitch through the netting behind home plate. It landed right in the lap of New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who immediately traded the ball for Governor Patterson's cat and the repeal of another term limit to be named later.